Hydrogen. It helps launch rockets into space. And lift off. It helps power trains in Germany. And it's been hailed as a potential clean energy source. We're going to put a big, big bet on hydrogen. Devenir le leader de l'hydrogène vert en 2030. But what is hydrogen energy? And how could it help cut planet heating carbon emissions? Well, hydrogen atoms are in substances all around us, from water, plants, and fossil fuels, such as coal and oil. What makes hydrogen so special? Well, it can be turned into a clean fuel for our cars, heat for our homes, and power for our industries. It releases water, not troublesome carbon emissions, when it's consumed. Many governments, including the UK, are producing strategies to develop hydrogen. Car maker Toyota has already introduced hydrogen-powered buses to Tokyo's streets. Key industries like steel and cement are developing methods to burn hydrogen as a clean fuel. It creates some local pollution of nitrogen oxides, but no planet heating carbon. Water, when electricity is passed through it, breaks up into oxygen and hydrogen. The fuel cell reverses the process. So how do we take hydrogen from other substances and turn it into energy for fuel cells? That's the key question, because some ways of getting hydrogen are more environmentally friendly than others. The most used process to produce hydrogen in the UK is grey hydrogen, where we use high temperature steam to pull apart natural gas in order to produce carbon dioxide and hydrogen. The CO2 that is taken from the process is released to atmosphere, and this is something that we are aiming to move away from. The second process is called blue hydrogen, and this follows the same method as grey hydrogen, but the carbon dioxide is captured and is stored underground. Green hydrogen, where we use electricity to split water apart. The most important factor here is where do we get our electricity from? Now that should be from renewables in order to keep it low carbon. So what is the future for hydrogen? The use of hydrogen within our energy system, whether that is for powering our vehicles or for switching out fossil fuels in industry, will be part of our low carbon future. Globally, we're right at the beginning of this process. 